My name is Professor Claire Hopkins. I'm an ENT consultant at One Welbeck Ear, Nose and Throat with a specialist interest in disorders of the nose and sinuses. The most common long COVID symptom we see within ENT is ongoing problems with loss of smell and taste. Loss of smell is actually the most common symptom of COVID overall, affecting at least two in three patients. And at least 50% will make a rapid recovery within two to three weeks. But for the remaining 50%, problems go on for at least eight weeks and up to six months or more in about 10% of those originally affected. I think the most important piece of advice I'd give to patients with these symptoms is not to lose hope. We're seeing very good rates of ongoing recovery, even in patients who have reached a year or sometimes more. And we know from post-viral loss, even before COVID, that recovery can go on for many months after this. So for the vast majority of people, there will be a good long-term outcome. For those that are still struggling with loss of smell and taste, the most important thing is to get support from friends and family and look to other groups such as Absent and Fifth Sense charities set up for people that have lost their sense of smell and taste for advice on how to cope. For those patients with parosmia, it can be very difficult while you're struggling with altered smell and taste, but the most important thing to remember is that this is a stage in recovery and the long-term outcome is good. What we've seen so far in terms of long-term recovery is that about 10% of patients who lost their sense of smell and taste still have problems at six to 12 months. We still think that a significant proportion of these patients will recover, although obviously we don't have really long-term data to be absolutely sure. I suspect a very small percentage of patients who initially lost their sense of smell will have ongoing problems in years to come. Everyone has heard about the importance of loss of smell, but I think many people don't understand about the stage that we call parosmia, which is a distorted sense of smell and taste. And this often comes after there's been some initial recovery. So patients may start to feel as if their sense of smell and taste is returning, and then everything becomes very distorted, often unpleasant. Certain foods such as onion, garlic, coffee or chocolate can really trigger an unpleasant smell that can linger for some time after exposure and that can be really disturbing. There are many other ENT symptoms such as a very dry nose, a burning pain, problems with the voice, problems with excess mucus discharge, tinnitus, imbalance and other hearing problems that have had very little attention in the press so far. I think it is still too early to say how long long Covid is going to last. I think the loss of smell and taste actually occurs in a different way to other symptoms of long COVID, so they may not necessarily be linked together. What we certainly know is that patients should remain hopeful and we're still seeing good rates of recovery 12 months and beyond. So I do think that this will come to an end for most people affected.